Hi, Mickey class. I love art. Do you like art? I love art, and now that we've been staying home more, I've had more time to try to make art. So first let me show you some things that I just have around my house. I've showed you before some of these paintings I made. I made this one, this Pikachu, and then all of these I have on my wall in my teaching room. You've seen these before. And actually, I used the same thing to make all of these. I used watercolor pencils. These are watercolor pencils. I have a few different boxes of them. What's really cool is that they are pencils, just normal colored pencils. Let me show you. So you can color with them on paper like normal pencils, but then when you get them wet, they blend together just like watercolor paint. So I use these a lot, but actually, Using normal watercolor paint is a little bit easier to blend the colors together. So I've made a few other things. I've recently, I just made these two. I used the watercolor pencils there, so you can see it blends together pretty good, but watercolor paint would do a little bit better. I also have these mountain ones that I made with a paint called gouache. Let me show you gouache. This is gouache. Gouache is a little bit like watercolor paint, so it blends together like that, but you can't see through it so much. So I painted these ones on a pizza box. And then there's another kind of paint called acrylic, which is a little bit shinier. This is actually one that I traded. I made one of these and I traded this hippo from Teacher Rainbow. So I gave her one painting and she gave me one painting. She used acrylic paint on this, so it's a little shinier and it can be so bumpy because you can just put more and more and more paint on top of each other. But you'll notice that I don't have any paintings here that I made with watercolor. So we are going to use watercolor paints to make something really cool that anyone can make. And we're also actually even going to be using some salt and some glue. So you can use your watercolor paints or if you don't have watercolor paints, that's fine. You can even use food coloring like we had in uh, our video with the lava lamp. So the first thing I'm going to do, I have my cup of water for my watercolor paints. I'm going to take a big-ish brush. Now I'm going to color my paper blue because I don't have blue paper. If you have blue paper, then you should probably do this on blue paper because we're going to be making a jellyfish actually. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to color my paper blue with my paint. And then I'm going to wait for it to completely dry. And then we can get started with our jellyfish. Now, when your paper's all dry, or if you're starting with a blue piece of paper, fine, that's what we can start with. You're going to take some glue. You can use a glue stick. I'm actually going to paint some glue on, and we're going to paint some glue in the shape of a jellyfish. Because <laughs> um, we're drawing a jellyfish in the ocean. My favorite animals are dogs, jellyfish, and snails. I just think jellyfish and snails are so cool. So I've got some glue in here. Mine is clear, you can use clear glue, you can use white glue. And we're going to quickly, 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 because we don't want the glue to dry, we're going to get some glue in the shape of a jellyfish. And we can make it as big as we want. And we want to have kind of a lot of glue here. I don't even have enough. You want so much glue. It's hard to see with the clear glue, but you want the shape of a jellyfish. So you need the jellyfish's head, and then you need its tentacles, the long things that come down. Okay, so I have my jellyfish head, and now I just need some tentacles. 
remember, if we're making art, it's good to look at a picture. You can look at a picture of a jellyfish so you know what you need to do. Even I can't see my glue very well. So I think you should use white glue if you have it. Now, you have the glue. Quickly, before the glue dries, you're going to take some salt, and you're going to put so much salt on your glue, on your jellyfish. Just put salt everywhere, everywhere. So much salt, so much salt. Mm. And then put it into a bowl or a plate. And then you'll see that the salt is starting to stick to your jellyfish on the paper. So much salt, so much salt. And then you use some of the salt that fell down. You don't want to waste any cooking salt. When you think your jellyfish is salty enough, then all you need to do is just wait for the glue to dry. There is a little bit of waiting in this in this art project. The cool thing about this project is you could do this with anything. It doesn't have to be a jellyfish. Anything you want to make with watercolors and salt, you can make that shape on your paper, and then that can be what you make. So we're just doing a jellyfish. I want this to be a rainbow jellyfish. So like I said, you can use your watercolor, you can use your food coloring. So we'll do some of the food coloring just a little bit to see what it looks like. It's gonna be a rainbow jellyfish. So the smartest way to do this would be to put your food coloring in a bowl or a cup to use your paintbrush. I'm gonna see what happens if we just do a little drop on this jellyfish right here. Ooh. Ooh. All right. So I think I'm going to do some polka dots with food coloring. Remember, this is a rainbow jellyfish, so we're gonna use all of the colors. Yeah, let's, I want some yellow watercolor. Oh. Okay, it's moving around the food coloring. Okay, we can do that. So watercolor or food coloring. Now you have a beautiful jellyfish. This little fishy just swimming. Okay, and then we'll do some other fish here. And there we go. And the last thing I'm going to do, you don't need to do this, but I'm going to take some black paint and I'm going to go around all of the other things that we drew.
there you go. There's your beautiful salty jellyfish. How fun is that? I cannot wait to see the jellyfishes that you make or any of the other art that you make with salt. You'll definitely have to show me. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.